Mabuhai! Kital, what's up? Welcome back. My name is Brock Adam. This is Lingo Street, and I'm giving you my 2021 plan for learning languages. Okay, thank you for watching. Today I'm getting into this 2021 study guide. Well, what my plan is for 2021. Right now I'm in the middle of a 90 day Tagalog learning challenge. It's actually going to be done in two weeks. So middle of January, I'm done. I'm not stopping Tagalog. I'm still going. But what I'm going to do after I'm done the 90 days is implement and add in another language. I'm going to be doing French. My daughter, who is nine, is fluent in French. She goes to an all French school, which is cool in Canada. They have all your subjects fully French. You just kind of do your day to day study school routine in French. And then you add, you're not allowed to speak English unless it's like with your friends, obviously a recess, but they have an English class that they take, but all their other subjects are taught in French. So she got fluent in French when she's like probably grade two, like seven, I would say. Um, and obviously every year she gets better. Um, so it's going to be cool doing some videos with her. It'll be fun. We're going to post those. Um, I have an old video we did, she tried to quiz me in French a bit, so I, I knew, I know I'm basic French, I could get around, but I want to get it to a level of fluency where I could watch movies in French, have a fluid conversation in French with somebody, travel somewhere and be very comfortable, like, like I, say I could get thrown somewhere, drop down, in a French speaking place like say Montreal or Paris, France, whatever, and just, I could live and function no problem. Maybe I'll make mistakes, of course I'll make mistakes, I'll stumble a little bit, but I would have very easy time anyway, getting around, so. That is after my 90 day challenge is done in a couple weeks, I'm gonna start French with Tagalog. Um, I did get for Christmas a couple more books, um, Tagalog to help me. I got this as a present, it's a Tagalog picture dictionary, it's actually quite good. It's got, it's not just a bunch of words, it's actually got sentences um, some phrases, um, different categories like years and dates. Uh, pizza. So it's like you can kind of have the different categories going shopping. Pamimili. How do you say it? Pamimili. Yeah, it's hard. Anyways, it's got all the different categories of stuff. My family, a king familia. Um, it goes through, and then it's got conversations at the bottom, which are quite useful. So um, I actually read through quite a bit of this already over the holidays and I'm going to be using it um, just working in it. It's another tool. Um, so that's for my Tagalog. I'm still doing podcasts. I'm still doing language courses on audiobook, uh, audible audiobooks. I'm still doing uh, YouTube videos, reading articles online. Um, I got in a Discord group, which I'm hopefully going to do some more speaking with people on audio chat and video chat. I'm also speaking to my wife more in Tagalog, which is actually quite a big help, and that's probably the biggest change, and that'll help me skyrocket my level, I think, to fluency faster. So um, that's going to continue. I'm still doing, still doing obviously this book, and I'm still using my language hacking from Benny Lewis, the Spanish version, but I'm using kind of the guide for the Tagalog, so that's cool. Um, when I get into my French, um, I have um, I have a comic book um, in all in French, which I will be reading. Um, I have apps, video um, for French learning. I really will get. I'll, I'll get back into. There's a there's a a video series called Extra on YouTube, which it's kind of like a sitcom friend style almost, where some people live in an apartment and the guy is a foreigner comes there and he's learning to live in France, learning French. And it's, they speak slow enough. Um, I watched it before, so I'm gonna rewatch that and then get into more advanced stuff in French when I get into it. And uh, that should be fun. I'm gonna do that for three months. After three months, I'm going to get back into my Spanish and drop French for a few months. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually planning on going back and forth every three months, French, then Spanish, then French, then Spanish again. 
So every three months I'm going to go back. And uh, I'm never really going to completely stop. I'll still listen to music in Spanish while I'm, like I do it anyway. Um, I'll still listen to some music in French, which I do anyway. Um, so I still get a little bit of the input. I help my daughter with her homework in French when she brings it home and we do some stuff. So I still get a little bit no matter what, even when I'm going to be focused on the Spanish and Tagalog. So Tagalog is going to still stay with it. That first nine months of the year, always Tagalog will be there with the extra language. After the nine months, so the last quarter of the year, the last three months, I'm hoping that my Tagalog will be at a level where I'm comfortable, where I don't need to have dedicated study time with it. I'll just be able to like have conversations with my wife, watch some shows, things like that in it. So it's not going to really take up study time. So my study time will shift. I'll still be doing my last quarter will then be um, basically Spanish. And I'm going to add in and get back to my Mandarin Chinese because I really want to get back to studying characters, reading, writing and learning uh, Mandarin and I want to get fluent in that. So those are my four languages this year that I'm going to be working on. Not to say that I can't add in something and explore it. Like I have, um, oh, when I'm doing my Spanish, I have a whole bunch of books in Spanish. I mean, they're not even all here. I have you know, La Mesa. Um, uh, I have this book here. Uh, Empieza hoy el resto de tu vida. Um, it's, it looks pretty interesting. Um, I have um, uh, uh, Padre Rico, Padre Pobre, which is Rich Dad, Poor Dad, the version of by Robert Kiyosaki, but I have the Spanish version. I have read already, but I'm going to reread that. I've read it in English and Spanish. Um, and I'm also going to implement for French and Spanish and for Chinese. I'm going to use Link, Link.com. That is my favorite way for reading and listening at the same time. So I have a bunch of content already on there that I've done before. I'm going to revisit their mini stories, which I find really helpful. And then there's podcasts like crazy out there, which are really good. Um, and they're all free, so it's pretty good. I did pay for Link. That It's L-I-N-G-Q.com. It's kind of a weird way to say it and spell it but um, that is my favorite way to learn uh, a pretty famous Canadian polyglot Steve Kaufman created it with his son and ever since I've been using it I I love I wish they had it for Tagalog but they don't so I've been kind of on my own doing other random stuff um, so I'll get back to link and then um, by the end of the year we'll see where I'm at but it's gonna be a fun year and that's the plan as of now Things can change, but I've set my mind to that so far. So looking forward to the year. Hopefully things change and we can start traveling again this year normally. That would be great in 2021. And I look forward to bringing you guys more videos. If you guys have a study plan you'd like to share, post it. Uh, join me in on, like, add me on Facebook. Look for me, um, comment in the video. And look for me on my website. You can message me. And I am also on Twitter at Lingo Street. So you can hit me up on Twitter as well. And what else am I missing? Oh, face, uh, Instagram, Instagram. Don't forget on Instagram, I'm Lingo Street Brock. So anyways, I will talk to you, mama ya. Thanks for watching.